Hi, welcome to the SYNC 4Wire Smart Switch Installation Guide. This video will show you how to install SYNC and C by GE smart switches on a three-way circuit, or in other words, a switch that shares control of a light with another switch. Note, all switches on the circuit must be a SYNC or C by GE smart switch. The smart switch will only work with other SYNC or C by GE smart switches on the same circuit. Now before we begin, we ask you to please proceed with caution and follow each step carefully. If you have any concerns with handling wiring, hire a qualified electrician for the installation. All right, here's what your home needs to install the smart switch. A wired switch outlet, which includes a white or gray neutral wire and a ground wire that's typically green or copper. And you need a Wi-Fi connection. In the smart switch package, you'll find one switch, one wall plate, one wall plate mounting bracket, wire nuts, two Phillips mounting screws, two faceplate screws, four wire labels, and one installation guide. You'll also need a voltage tester, a Phillips screwdriver, and about 60 minutes of your time to install and set up both switches. Finally, you may want needle nose pliers. Ready? Let's get started. Step one, before you do anything else, turn off the power to the switch location at the circuit breaker box and test the switches to make sure no lights come on. Now let's remove the old switches. First, take off the face plates. Next, test the wires with a voltage tester to ensure power is off. If multiple switches are in the same box, test them as well. Additional breakers may need to be turned off. You can never be too careful. Then remove the screws holding the switches in place and pull the switches out of the wall. Before you disconnect any wires, make sure your wiring matches the wiring of these diagrams. It's a good idea to take a picture of your wiring for future reference. Now for the following few steps, we ask you to proceed with caution. While the switches are pulled out of the wall, restore power at the box. Next, use your voltage tester to carefully check both black wires. The black wire that has voltage is the line wire, making that the line side box. The black wire that does not have voltage is your load wire, so that is your load side box. After you have removed the switches from the wall and restored power to check which wire has voltage, you may see a light come on when the breaker is turned back on. In this case, both line and load wires will have voltage, and you may have to carefully flip one of the switches so that the light is off for this step. Now before you do anything else, turn the power back off at the box, then label each wire coming out of the wall box. Add the line label to the black wire that tested positive for voltage, and add a load label to the black wire that did not have voltage. It's important to know that if you don't have a ground wire, the smart switch is not compatible. Match the white labels to the white or gray neutral wires. If you don't have neutral wires, you'll need to install our three-wire smart switch instead. Also, if you have a neutral wire in your line side box, but not the load side, there are additional wiring instructions later in the video. After the wires are labeled, disconnect and remove the old switches. Now to connect the line side box to your smart switch. Pair the line wire and the traveler wire from the wall to the black line wire on the smart switch. Put them in the wire nut, turn it clockwise, and gently pull to test the connection. Do the same process to the other wires. Connect the neutral wires on the wall to the white neutral wire on the switch. Connect the ground wire from the wall to the green ground wire on the switch. Lastly, cap the load wire from the switch, which may be red or black depending on the switch you purchased. Then, cap the second traveler wire from the wall. Now to install the load side switch. Take the same traveler you connected to the black line wire of the first smart switch and connect it to the black line wire of this smart switch. Connect the neutral wires on the wall to the white neutral wire on the switch. Connect the load wire from the wall to the load wire on the switch. Connect the ground wire from the wall to the green ground wire on the switch then cap the second traveler wire from the wall. Here's how to install the smart switches if your load side box doesn't have a neutral wire. On the line side, instead of capping the second traveler wire, connect it to the neutral wires associated with that circuit group together with the neutral wire of the sync smart switch. And then on the load side, connect the second traveler wire to the white neutral wire on the switch. Now to check for functionality. 
restore power to the switches at the box, and check to see if the light rings on both switches are flashing blue. If they are, that means the switches are wired correctly. If they're not, visit syncsupport.gelighting.com for troubleshooting tips. Now before you do anything, turn off the power at the box and test the wires to make sure the power is off. Next, push the wires into each wall box. Then secure your switches using a Phillips screwdriver and the longer screws provided, making sure they're level and flush with the wall. Screw on the faceplate brackets with the smaller screws and snap on the covers. Once everything is secure, turn the power back on at the breaker box. Your smart switch will remain in setup mode until you've downloaded the sync app in the app store and set up the switch. If the setup mode times out, press the on off button and hold for 10 seconds to restart it. To enable your three-way smart control, you must pair the switches to the sync app and assign the switches to the same room or group. Thank you for making the switch to smarter lighting. Enjoy.